Hi, this is Representative Rick Larson with this week's weekly recap with Rick. I'm in Marble Mount, Washington, in uh, the new part of the second congressional district, part of the area upriver uh, on the Skagit River that came into the district after redistricting. And today, uh, this morning, spent some time with uh, rangers and staff from the U.S. Forest Service in the Mount Baker and Palmy uh, National Forest. To, hear about their needs. Uh, we got to see some eagle habitat and see some uh, bald eagles, um, two adults and an immature bald eagle, some um, gansers as well, and gulls and a few other birds. But really to talk about the educational, recreational opportunities that exist uh, that the U.S. Forest Service participates in. And up here at Marble Mound, upriver, we talk a little bit more about some of the other needs uh, on road maintenance, on uh, staffing uh, for the U.S. Uh, Forest Service, as well as some of the uh, recreational opportunities that they manage as a Forest Service because the Skagit is a wild and scenic river designated in 1978 under the Wild and Scenic Rivers Act of 1968. Uh, a little later today, I'll be meeting with uh, Don Stryker, who's the superintendent of the National Park Service located at the North Cascades National Park also now in the second congressional district we'll get a chance to talk to don a little bit about the national park service needs as well as the great recreational opportunities available to everyone in our national parks um, and then uh, i want to note that earlier this week i was in washington dc and as, as the ranking member of the transportation and infrastructure committee participated in hearings on aviation safety as well as on the effort to maintain the integrity of the Clean Water Act here in the United States. I uh, also attended the State of the Union speech with my spouse, Tia, and I was heartened to hear the President uh, emphasize the need to continue to implement the bipartisan infrastructure law, the Inflation Reduction Act, and the Chips and Science Act, all bills that will help create jobs and create American-based jobs um, right here in the good old U.S. of A. So we need to continue to work hard to implement these bills. I would also note, we emphasize the need to implement the, uh, the $35 cap on insulin for those in Medicare and to ensure Medicare has the right to uh, and the authority to um, uh, negotiate prescription drug prices. Uh, finally, I'll just note that uh, Sunday is Super Bowl Sunday, and all the Seahawks are not in the Super Bowl this year. Uh, the Super Bowl does have a Washington State connection in that uh, growlers that are based at Naval Air Station Woodby Island will be, will be doing the uh, uh, participating in the pregame flyover. So good luck to the women and men uh, and the growler squadron who will be participating in the Super Bowl flyover. And that is this week's weekly recap with Rick, and we'll see you next week. Thanks.